I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Nine of Wands and the Fool. So this is telling me, because the Fool card has the type of energy where as this person is just ready to take a leap of faith, ready for some type of new beginning, just going for it. The fool can be a risk taker. Just jumping right on in. And that's probably what a lot of you did, Aries, with your person. You jumped right on in. But the Nine of Wands is here. It's indicating it's that you that you felt like or you did build a wall. See, she's sitting there. She built the wall with all those wands. And you felt like you had to close yourself off to this person. Nine of Wands can be about not letting anyone come past your barricade. So I don't know what happened, but you jumped right on in there with this person. The, the, the both of you are ready to take a leap of faith towards each other. You both wanted a new beginning. You both wanted some a fresh new start, a new lease on life. So you jumped right on in there. But then eventually, you realized that you needed to close yourself off from this person. Yeah, Nine of Wands, that's what the Nine of Wands does. Build a wall. Don't let anyone come past that wall. Nine of Wands is the card above the word pass. But that's a recent pass those two cards for you and your person but let's move on over let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you okay so we got the nine of swords and it's with the six of cups now the nine of swords it can be about um, nightmares, anxiety, grief, sadness, um, hardship. Six of Cups. That's telling me that um, someone is wanting to make a return. Somebody is being nostalgic, thinking about all the happy memories the two of you made. So, Aries... Don't be surprised if you hear from this person, if the two of you are not together, yeah, they will be, looks like they will be reaching out. If you just look at the picture of the Six of Cups, the card below the word present, he's reaching out to, this young man is reaching out to someone that he's got a lot of happy memories with. Yeah, bringing her flowers. Isn't that cute? That's the cutest card. Yeah, so the person is thinking about you, Aries. Yeah, so when they reach out, it could cause you some anxiety. Maybe you're at, maybe you you're going to start to have flashbacks. Yeah, because you could be thinking about the time when you were with them and you had to close yourself off to them. But they're thinking about, they're missing you, they're thinking about you. So, yeah, that's what's coming up. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Five of Pentacles and King of Swords. Five of Pentacles and King of Swords. So, yeah, Five of Pentacles is a well-known card in the tarot for being left out in the cold. So, that's what you're doing. You're not answering the door. Yep. They could be knocking and knocking and 
You see, five of pentacles is the word above, is the card above the word challenge. Your person is just sitting there like, is she ever going to answer the door? You're starting to feel left out in the cold by you. Yeah. Five of Pentacles can be about feeling lost. Yeah. You want to detach yourself from this person. So that's could be the reason why you're, you're leaving them out. Um, yeah. Your person is feeling alone, left out in the cold. You could be feeling lost. They could be feeling alone. That's the five of pentacles. Yeah. They want, they're, they're thinking about you. They're having happy memories. But you're trying to detach from this. King of Swords, the card below the word challenge. Very detached energy. King of Swords only uses their head and not their heart. Very forceful type of energy. So you could be feeling like you need to be mean towards this person. But that's a challenge. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. So we got the hangman and it's with the eight of cups. So the outcome, the hangman, your person is confused. And then there looks like the eight of cups, the card below the word outcome. They're confused. Should they stay? Should they go? Should they try again or should they leave it alone? So they go back and forth in their head. You got this person in their head now. They don't know what to do. The hangman can be about connect the connection being on pause. They could be thinking this is just on pause. You just need a break or something. Or it could be about just being stuck in your head. Your person's stuck in, in their head. They don't know what to make of this. So they go between being confused and then thinking that they should uh, walk away. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you see the lady, the card below the word outcome, she's walking away. Or you could be hoping that they walk away. Yeah. You're hoping they get the message and just walk away. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate. They do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation once in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aries, thank, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aries reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.